Hi, you guys. I'm going to talk about our May um, Christmas card club. I'm very excited. So let's put the camera down and show you what's going on. Okay, so I think I got it this time. All right, um, we're going to make six cards and um, three designs each. Uh, and just to let you know, this is the visual of them. Um, we're going to do two cards like this, one with a Christmas um, DSP and one without a Christmas DSP, but look, they both look like Christmas cards. Um, then we're going to do uh, one like this and one like this. Now the magic of the card is that you are going to use every bit of two pieces of six by six paper to make these cards. So let me just start real quickly by sharing with you what you have in your kit this time. So I sent you these pieces and there are four of the uh, labels. There are two snowmen with their hats and four arms, two noses, and you also got four different kinds of um, snowflakes. You can choose to use them on your cards or not. They're there for you as an option. I am using the Snowman um, Season stamp set for mine, but again, you don't have to use that uh, set at all. You can do something that works for you. Okay, so the first card we're going to do, well, the first thing we're going to do is cut our cardstock. Um, and I sent you these directions in um, April, April 25th. So you might wanna go back and check your April paper pumpkin slash Christmas card um, email from me because it's got all of the, the pieces that you need. So the supplies you need are first to create your card bases and they are the regular eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter on the long side just like to make regular cards i'm using just jade but you can use whatever you would like the other thing you're going to need is um, you're going to need your white card bases cut at four by five and a quarter and you'll need two of these. If you want to glue um, them inside your cards too, like I do to finish them off, then you're going to need six additional ones. So you're either gonna need two or eight of these. The other thing you're going to need to use is using Poppy Parade or Real Red or a color of your choice, you're going to need two pieces cut at four by five and a quarter, and you're going to need one piece, um, you're gonna need one piece cut at four by one inch, one and a half inches, and you're going to need, or I guess this is the five and a half by one inch. You need one five and a half by one inch, and you need a, an additional four by one and a half inch piece. You're gonna need some medium envelopes um, and then of course any dimensionals and adhesive and all the little extra bling you need or you wanna use. And then you're going to use two pieces of designer series paper. One that looks Christmassy and one that doesn't. And we're gonna make this one look Christmassy. The cool thing is you're going to cut both of the pieces together and I hold them together. Let me get my cutting. I think I can do this on camera for you. So what you're going to do is you are going to 
first cut a four. Um, so you're gonna cut a four inch. And again, I'm holding my, um, oops, I'm holding my uh, two pieces of DSP together so that I'm cutting them at the same time. So four inches by five and a quarter. And of course I need this to be out. Five and a quarter. No, I don't. Okay, and I'm holding them together again and I'm making another slice. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is um, I've got the one, uh, the two pieces now that are four by five and a quarter. Then we need uh, one that is four by one and a quarter. So you're going to take the bigger um, piece of the two pieces that are left and you're going to cut that four inches whoops <laughs> I want to do it backwards because I have this upside down for myself okay four inches by one and a quarter so here's the one and a quarter mark so you've got that piece now times two because you're holding your DSPs together and then you need a two by two inch square and guess what this is a two by two inch square so no more cutting needed you're going to use that piece and then you're also going to use a one um, four inch by Uh, four inch by um, three quarters and guess what that one's already cut so you don't need to touch that one and the last one is uh, two pieces of four by five um, by three eighths so what I'm going to do is this is the four inches and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just do one, two, three inches right here, three eighths right here. And basically I'm cutting this piece in half. Boom. So that's all we need to do. So now you've got those two pieces. So you're all set. You're all done with all your cutting. That's all you need to do. And you're set now to put your um, cards together and these are called One Sheet Wonders because you're going to use every bit of those pieces. So let's get going. So the first thing you need to do is take one of your card bases. And let's see, we will make this card first. Let me find its sister. Okay, so we're going to make this card first. And um, so we need a card base. I'm just going to make one of them because you can see you can either make the, um, you know, use whichever DSP you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my um, piece of paper, uh, DSP paper right on there. Okay, and what I am next going to do is to take my long piece of DSP and I'm going to use that little tearing technique that I've showed you before. And remember, one side looks, um, one side's got that real pretty kind of cool edge and the other one doesn't. But you just, um, but then you just flip it over and it does. So then you have one for both of your cards now. So what you're going to do is you're just going to glue that piece onto the side. And I glued it all the way over to the edge 
of the fold. Okay. Um, for my sentiment, what I did is I took one of the um, story cards and I um, stamped right on it. The other story card, what I did is I cut it in half the colored one. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue that uh, behind your white piece. So I'm just going to, for right now, put a little piece of glue here, a little line of glue here, and I am going to take my white piece. Now you can already stamp it ahead of time, or you can stamp it afterwards. I. Uh, normally would stamp it ahead of time, but I want to show you the techniques in this video only, just so you can see where we're going when we make our cards uh, next week. Okay, so there you've got that. Um, stamp it, you're going to pop it up on dimensionals, and then for the Let It Snow, you can see I took a single, um, I took a single stamp that says, let it snow like this. I stamped it on a piece of um, white cardstock that is just leftover pieces. And then I cut out the wording like I've showed you how to do before. And I bumped it up on dimensionals. So that's it for that card. I did add a little bit of twine and I stamped on the inside and I took one of the uh, pieces of the DSP and I glued it right onto the white cardstock. So what you can do is take your white cardstock and glue your matching piece of DSP. I left just a little, a little white edge at the bottom. I stamped my sentiment and then I glued it inside of my card. So there you have your first technique, your first card. Okay, let's go on to the second card. The second card is using um, the two inch squares. So what I did for this one is again, I started with the card base and uh, I took then the four by five and a quarter piece of red that I had. But again, if you don't want to use red, you could use blue, you can use green. Just depends on, you could use, you could even use white if you had a really um, colorful center. It's, it's, you know, your choice, your card. So uh, you're just going to glue this piece down. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of the squares that you have and you're going to put it at a diagonal, pop it up on dimensionals. And then what I did is I took my snowman that you have and I stamped it. Um, I just uh, um, stamped it using the stamp set. But if you don't have the stamp set, you could use a black marker and just make your own snowman. And um, you can glue the nose, make the hat, put on the arms, glue them on, and then glue them on your on, on your square or your your now diamond, and pop it up. Then I added the two. Um, Snowflakes and I stamped Merry and Christmas there for the inside. I took that really narrow little strip of paper and I glued it on the inside and then stamped what I wanted to stamp. You'll also see on my stamping, I used some, um, a little bit of um, Stampin' Blends in blue 
to make it look more like snow. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I did the same thing on the inside too. So there you have the second card. Isn't that easy? Okay, and then the last card technique that we're going to use is this one. It makes this card. So what you're going to do is take your card base again, fold it. <clears throat> so I have two. <clears throat> you're gonna fold it. And this time, you're going to start out with your Whisper White piece on the front, and you're going to stamp whatever you want to stamp um, in the center of your card. And then you're going to take your smaller piece of um, red, and you're going to do the same tearing technique although you're gonna use both pieces on one card. That's why you needed to make two of this size card, uh, this size piece scrap. And then you're going to, um, you're going to just center your um, image. So yours might be farther up or closer in, depending on what your image or, or wording is right there. And then you're going to take the um, pieces of, paper and you'll see one is um, wider and one is narrower wider and narrower and you're going to put the wider one down at the bottom and I put it all the way at the end of the white cardstock and I did the same for the um, top piece and I glued it on. So just simply stamp right here, then use that as a guide to place your pieces of red and then you're going to glue your um, DSP over that. For the inside, I just didn't put any DSP, I just stamped what I wanted on the inside and glued it in. And there you have our six cards for, or three designs for our six cards for Friday. Thanks.